Hey, how's it going? So, I want to make a quick video uh, uh, showing, especially if you have an A8, A9, A8, how important it is you upgrade your firmware um, to the Marlin firmware. And I was firmware, and I was actually going to make a, a, a video explaining how that's done, and I'm still going to do that. Just wasn't quite ready for that yet. But I had upgraded my firmware to Marlin mainly to add the functionality of. Uh, thermal run, runaway detection so the printer if it detects that the um, either the nozzle or the beds having heat issues um, like it's dramatically increasing or dramatically decreasing um, it'll shut the printer down for you so you won't cause a fire or anything like that and I had just done this and I've started printing it and testing it out and I was doing some large prints there and uh, sure enough my bed came on and said uh, Actually, I had it shut down one at a time because my nozzle um, was getting too cold, and it turned out to be what was going on is I'd previously had my fan set to 100 degrees just all the time, and I wasn't—I didn't realize this, but it was cooling my nozzle down too much, and um, so the firmware detected that. And what I did was I gave it a minimum and a maximum for the uh, fan speed, and that got rid of that issue, so it wasn't cooling down the um, nozzle tip too much. And so then I got recently I got a bed failure, same thing, and I thought, oh maybe it was it was kind of late, maybe a cold breeze came in and was setting that off. Well then I kept trying to turn it back on this morning and it kept shutting it down due to thermal runaway on the bed. And so I even manually did it in there and thought maybe it was a G code issue. And it would try to go up and um, I I use an octopi. I can't tell that, but I have an oct octu print, I think it's called, set up on here. And I could see it, and it would detect the thermal runaway on the printer without using the OccuPrint. The, the firmware in the um, printer was shutting it down. So I knew it wasn't some kind of G-code or the print server or anything. It was actually the um, the printer itself detecting with the firmware that there was something wrong with the heat. Anyway, so I got it going, and I thought, oh, maybe the, the heat bed wasn't working or something. So I went, and I went to go unplug it. And it wouldn't come off and so I had to kind of like pry it off and then I got looking at it and sure enough look at that it uh it started melting through and so the printers the firmware saved me this could have caused a fire or something and I'm really good about you know I've got all my other ends crimped I always suspected when this happened it was because of excessive wiggling or um the this end was frayed and it was actually shortened out over here but I had been printing a long time with this, like, and uh, so I'm not sure why it did that. Because I don't have excessive movement. I'm very careful about it. I have very minimum movement with this setup. And anyhow, the firmware protected me against that. I'm pretty sure the heat bed's okay. Um, and it just uh, did whatever it did. It kind of burned through the side here a little bit. So it was on its way. If I didn't have that thermal runaway protection that could have ended up being a fire so I'm thankful I did that upgrade and I'll make a video explaining that and uh, I got some ideas of how I'm gonna attempt to fix fix this so right now well it wasn't working at all it's probably got such high resistance in here because of the burnout that it was not uh, heating up the bed anymore so maybe make another video showing as I go along to attempt to fix this hopefully my heated bed still works and uh, this is not an issue. I gotta investigate it further. But so I just want to make this video to tell you if you have an ADNet A8, you need to get Marlin on there ASAP um, to keep your printer from burning up. Anyways, I hope this makes sense, and I'll make a better video explaining the upgrades and everything a little bit later when I got more some more time. Anyways, I really hope this helps you out, and uh, be careful out there, and do that upgrade to Marlin and on your ANET A8. Thank you for watching.